it is the 2024 edition of the wines of South Africa here at the Marriott Lagos. Last year was a spectacle for everyone that was in attendance and tonight would not be anything short of amazing. I'm Nikki and I'm your host for tonight. Follow me as I take you on a ride on wines from South Africa. very much yeah all right so what brings you here tonight well actually I came here to you know rub minds with the wineries you know what you say because I believe wine have an attitude I've come to have an attitude with a wine and also try to see how to connect with some brands being in the entertainment industry you also need these people when you're having your events and because I have my events I want to come and see one of them one or two of them that could actually be part of what I do so that's why I'm here. Aside wanting to connect, are you a wine lover? Of course, I am. That's why I'm actually here also, because I, I had to taste some new wines and I'm seeing some fantastic wines. I've tasted some awesome wines here. And um, just to answer your question, yes, I am a wine lover. Yeah. So what, what's your preference when it comes to wine? Do you like the white? Do you like the red, sweet, sour? Red, 
sweet, red, not sweet, but white, sweet. No, red, sir, but white, sweet. Yes. So I'm here with Kachi, and he's the MD of Cigaro Group. They are the producers of Simonsville Wines. Hello, Kachi. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. So tell us, what does your brand do really? Um, we're actually trying to showcase um, the good drinks we have to Nigerians here today. And um, I think we have the best drinks here today. And we have, uh, we took some surveys, we asked people, of, uh, we asked our tasters, people who tasted our wine, um, the, um, what they prefer. And most of them, after going around, they always come back to tell us that ours is the best. So actually, we, we came here to actually showcase how good and great our wine is. Okay, so I can see uh, some varieties of wine here. I see white, I see the red wine. I see you also have uh, the sparkling wines, the brut and the rosé as well. So what has it been like for you since you came into the market? It's been great and it's been, it's been so great. Um, we have lots of people, we have high demand for this, for this brut. And for this, we have um, high demand too. So the, it's, been, it's been great because we actually just came into Nigeria, but this company has been existing since 1945 in Pal, in Cape Town, in South Africa. So I'm here with Prince Harry and he's the chairman of St. August Group. I'm aware that you have a wine brand under your business. So tell us about the brand. Yeah, I represent Simmons Flair and it's a South African brand. So we are in partnership. So, so far, what has the response been from uh, wine lovers and people who have patronized you? Now, I came in here not with people that uh, ordinary people. I came in here with dealers and consumers. The drink is on its way to the Nigerian market. And I came here also with people that will make it break through. And when it breaks through, the South African market will know exactly what we mean in Nigeria. We consume a lot in Nigeria, you know that. Hi, Dr. Nick. Hi there, Nikki. Uh, it's good to be here. I think it's great to have South African wines right here in Lagos, Nigeria. I think it's something that Nigerians really love. I've been in Nigeria for 28 years. Um, I live out in Cape Town. Um, all the brands that is here is fantastic. And I think the collaboration between South Africa and Nigeria is amazing. You know, South African brands, it's the way they mature the brand. So if you look at our winter nights, if you look at how difficult the cold weathers are in South Africa, in Cape Town, um, it is something that um, matures the wines to the fullest degree. When you drink it, it adds a aroma to the taste and I think Nigeria has the exact same climate and weather of Cape Town so I think if we do it in Cape Town and we can do it in Nigeria it will be equal to what the best South African wines are in the country you must have had a lot of wine so far in your lifetime I'm not that old, but yes, in my young age, I had a lot of wine tasting and I would like to invite you to Cape Town so we can take you on a wine tasting experience so that you can come back to Nigeria and tell everybody about it. So I think with this collaboration between wines of South Africa, West Grow, the Consulate General of South, of South Africa, it's an amazing feeling. It's, it's good, you, you won't even tell me I'm a South African. I feel like a Nigerian living in South Africa. I feel like a South African living in Nigeria. And this is the difference that we will make 
when we co when we collaborate the two brands together there is no difference between you and me Hi, so I'm here with Madam Lebo and she's the wife of the South African Consulate to Nigeria. Hello, Madam. Good evening, Madam. It's nice to have you here. I feel very welcome. Thank you for having me. All right, so I would love for you to tell us uh, the purpose of this event, really. Okay, the purpose is to introduce to Nigerians the various types of wine we have in South Africa. We know that wine is a very hard sell uh, in that people need to grow into it and take time to appreciate and develop the palate for it. So um, I was here last year and it was indeed a spectacular event and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to nothing short less than what it was last year. So tell me, what has the response been so far, considering what you did last year and this year? Okay, last year I wasn't here, but from what I learned is that they preferred to have people that would actually be interested in going into the wine business. Get the opportunity to sample all the bouquets that are here and make an informed decision as to which wine to go for. I would not particularly decide to say this is the one you should go for, but it depends what you like. Some people like soft ones, semi-sweet, sweet, some like very harsh ones. So this kind of opportunity gives you the opportunity to go around and taste. We hope really that South uh, Nigerians instead of always boasting about French wines, they can now start talking about South African wines, because well, South African wines are quite good, and the price is very cost effective, yes. yes. Thank you so much. One more question, what's your preference when it comes to wine? Uh, I'm a mellow girl, oh. through and through, I am. <laughs> so I'm here with Samuel from Dragonsburg. Hello, Samuel. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine. So, uh, what so? Uh, what? Let me ask you. What's the event been like? I recall you were here last year, and you're here this year. What's it been like so far? Yeah, the event's quite um, fantastic. Uh, we have lots of people come down to have a taste of the different varieties of wine. So it's actually a good one. The feedback from the different wine tasters have been fantastic. So it's quite good. So Dragon's Back, tell us about Dragon's Back, tell us about your wines. Okay, so Dragon's Back is actually a sweet wine, it has three categories, it has the white, it has the rose and the red, so um, the name Dragon's Back is actually better from the location where it is actually produced. It has a mountain that has the shape of a dragon. So that's why it's called the Dragon Bag. So it's actually a sweet wine. It is good for, let's say, good for the ladies. It is recommended for the ladies. Yeah. Just the ladies? Yeah. Ladies love sweets. Anything sweet. So it's actually a sweet wine. So uh, how long have you been in the market? I've been in the market for five years now. Five years and counting. Uh, based on what people had today here. What was the response? What was the feedback you got from those who had your wines? Uh, so the feedback has been positive, um, majorly on the rose and the red wine. Very positive. So um, it's, it's, it's quite encouraging. As I've said earlier on, the ladies love the wine. I can see that. You're all smiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very correct. Yeah. So what's your own preference when it comes to wine? Um, semi sweets. I'll do semi sweets. Just in between. That's fine by me. So I'm here with Sean, and Sean is a is a winemaker, and he works for Ken Forrester Vineyards. Hello, Sean. 
Hello, hello, how are you? Good, thank you. It's so great to be here. Oh yeah, first time in Nigeria. Um, um, and it's amazing that wine brought me all the way here. So it's quite an achievement. <laughs> nice. All right, tell us about uh, Ken Forrester Wines. So Ken Forrester Wines is out in Stellenbosch in Cape Town, South Africa. It's a family estate owned um, veneer that's been um, um, around ever since um, 1993. Mandela was out of, out of prison, the country was in chaos, but Ken Forrester decided to buy a property. And so we are well known for Chen and Blanc in South Africa. We are quite big in Chen and Blanc. Um, but yeah, it's it's amazing vineyard. I've been with him for 10 years as the head winemaker. So it's a great estate there. Yeah. We're family owned, we're family driven. We rely on each other. There's no um, this and that. We rely on each other. So yeah. That's, that's nice. So tell us about the wines that you make. Like what kinds of wine, the varietals and um, what sets those wines apart from the regular one in the South African wine market? Definitely Ken Forrester is a hard-working, well-driven, business-driven and um, uh, very much passion-driven and the uh, wines that we produce is usually that's the wines that are in different categories that we, we're trying to aim for different price points, different palettes and etc. The wines that I brought to you is that the wines that are quite for this relatively palette now for the Nigerian palette that suits them is that it's easy drinking, affordable, but simultaneously drinkable wines, you know, smooth, rounded, fruit driven, and it just speaks terroir and passion and etc. So now that you've come to introduce your wines in the market, in the Nigerian market, like, are you really looking forward to being, coming to stay in Nigeria? And how do you think you can penetrate the industry here? No, definitely for me as um, standing here tonight, a lot of people ask me for sweet wine. I said I don't have sweet wine. I make one, but it's not for the Nigerian market. My idea of penetrating the Nigerian market is to, to educate and divert them and change their palate to, from sweet to more dry wines and understand a better flavor profile of what is out there and what can be done. And simultaneously growing the, the, the palate and growing the passion and the the love for wine, South African wine, for, for the Nigerian market. Well, that, that would take some work, but uh, I'll just wish you good luck with it. No, definitely, it, it, it is something which is possible, I mean, yeah. Seeing tonight the results, people were into okay. fruit-driven, fruity styles and smoother rates and, yeah. So I'm here with Neil from Hazendal. Hello, Neil. Hi, how are you doing? Great, thank you. So tell me about Hazendal. So Hazendal is a farm that dates back to 1699. And in that time, we only had five owners. I'm the third generation of winemakers, or the third winemaker at Hazendal. And we specialize in premium and ultra premium products. That's in the Stellenbosch region. So we have two cup classic sparkling wines which is similar to Champenois, same style, but obviously we can't call it Champagne because of the pattern. So in South Africa, we speak of Cup Classic. Our Cup Classics are exceptionally well. It's done double gold in several international competitions and it's growing tremendously. And then we have our ultra premium single varietal cultivars. Here we have the Chenin Chardonnay, we have the Pinotage and the Cabernet Sauvignon. All four of them have various international accolades and then to finish off we have two vodkas of the four that we have on the farm so we have spirits as well and those spirits contribute tremendously to have like a pellet cleanser and an after dinner aperitif. That's nice. So uh, so far what has the response been from those who come to have a taste of your wine? I'm actually quite overwhelmed. Um, I think the knowledge of the Nigerian people concerning wines is a lot more than I expected. It's the first time in Western Africa. We have clients in other parts of Western Africa, but it's so nice that people know wine. They are knowledgeable about what they like and what they don't like. Um, there is certain things that I would be going home and, and looking to do as well. I think having eaten your food, I really 
know that there's certain things I might look to certain styles that I might bring back which is a little bit different because our wines are quite quite dry ultra premium very full very rich but I'm, I'm definitely going home with some homework to do so tell me what of uh, what which of our foods have you tried so far well your the rice dish that you have the the traditional one is lovely today I had something remarkable which was a prawn pineapple rice at at the it was in on the island jambalaya. jambalaya I had but today I had the other one I had lovely goat I love goat because part of, in South Africa where I'm from we we eat a lot of goat and we had uh, we were at Kali um, a lovely sky bar restaurant in on the on the on the VI um, yo what a the, the hospitality the food industry lovely okay so I just ask um, which of your wines would you pair with the goat's meat well, I think the Shana or the Chenin Blanc will really go well with a goat, but seeing that the meat is a bit richer, I might actually go with even the Pinotage or the Cabernet, probably more likely to be the Pinotage. To give you an idea, our wines, our bottles, we import specially from Tuscany in Italy. Um, our owner really loved the style and the shape of the bottle and nowhere in South Africa we could find it. So we decided to import the bottle directly from Italy and we, our attention to detail is quite pristine because we have a five-star hotel and spa and we have a golf course so we the, the sort of a clientele we want is really on the next level and we want to make sure that the offering I give is ultra premium at all times. I'm here with Georgina and uh, she's with Constantia Glenn. Hello Georgina. Hello, how are you? Welcome to Nigeria. Thank you. It's great to be here. All right. So tell us about your wines. So I'm the winemaker Constantia Glenn. We are from a very small region in Cape Town, um, and yeah, we produce four four beautiful flagship wines: two whites and two reds. Our main focus is Bordeaux style reds and whites as well. So we have a Sauvignon Blanc, um, a white blend, Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon. And then a red blend, um, two red blends, the three and the five. So the numbers are, are is the name of the wine, but it's also the number of grape varieties that are, that make up the blend of the wine. So how well have people received the wines today? Yeah, really well. We the Sauvignon Blanc has been really popular, so a lot of people really enjoy sweet wines. And although the Sauvignon Blanc is completely dry. Uh, it's got a, a, a very fruit forward wine, so it's got a perception of sweetness that people really enjoy it. So it's your first time coming to Nigeria, right? And um, do you think you might have a place in the Nigeria market? I hope so. It's been really fun. It's been really interesting to be here. And I think that the Nigerian wine market will be something really interesting to explore further. But it just depends on what kind of relationships we can form with people who are bringing wine in. So what's your own preference when it comes to wines? Uh, that's a hard one. In the range that we make, I really enjoy the two. It's a white blend of Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon. Uh, it's a great food wine and it's always something interesting. It always has a talking point around it because it's a little bit different to what people are used to. So I'm here with Neil and um, they are the marketers for the Chocolate Blanc. So hello Neil. Hi, how's it going? Great, thank you. So tell us about your wine. Uh, yeah, so this is the chocolate block, which has been, uh, we've been selling it in Nigeria now for uh, close on seven, eight years already. Um, it's a very well-loved wine around the world. You see it in travel retail. Uh, it flies on Emirates business class quite regularly. So it's a very popular wine that um, um, has been very well received in this market. And um, and what for me, what's nice, nice to see over the years, I've been coming to Nigeria since uh, 2017 now. And what's been really nice to see is how uh, the people engage with our brands, not just the chocolate block, but everyone here in the room tonight. You know, it's, uh, it's very much a, a developing market for us as uh, South African wineries uh, and always exciting to come here. You know, it's always lots of fun. The vibe is great. And, uh, and like I said, you know, to see how people's tastes are developing and the appreciation for South African wine, it's amazing. So we love it. So for someone who is a sweet tooth. Sweet tooth. Which one of your wines would you... So one of, one of the wines uh, or brands in our range is called Robertson Winery. We've got a very nice natural sweet uh, white red and rosé that's been doing well. It's a, 
Uh, it's a nice teardrop shaped bottle, so very kind of uh, 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 quite eloquent and fancy, but um, a beautiful wine, uh, nice higher sugar levels. But what we've done is we kept the alcohol level low. I have had a, a lovely night. Um, I was here last year, so I'm here again. And we, well, I'm one of the vendors. We had our stand here, Bushendal and Tall Horse. So we had a lot of people come to our stand, you know, had the taste, and their reviews were quite um, interesting. Um, fantastic event, um, really amazing. I'm a wine lover. And I think we we had a really great time and experience. It's I'll say it's new because at first I never thought Nigeria particularly would have something like this a wine tasting event and not just a wine tasting event one from South Africa right. So it's new and I like it. I'm enjoying it really. It's very nice tasting different wines, learning more about wines and everything. It's it's wholesome. Let me just call it it's wholesome. It's very very amazing. Interesting. I mean having to taste varieties of wine it's been an amazing experience so far it's really good actually because uh, it not only is it fun but it's also very educational um, we see we, we get a lot of people coming here who don't really know much about wine and they, they get to taste some really good South African wines it's really it's really nice so for someone who is a stakeholder in the industry do you think the South African wines have got a place to stay in the Nigerian market I think so because it's a lot easier to bring in South African wines than it is to bring in wines from Europe or, um, or uh, the Americans or New Zealand or Australia. So that's why you probably in the next 10 years you probably see a lot more South African wines in the marketplace, and the prices are quite competitive. And it's also good to help a wine a wine producing country in Africa, you know, which I think is really good. Look, I think. Looking at the number of attendees today, it was evidence that there is a need for this event annually. We are making an impact because we are getting our wine producers to be exposed to the market, likewise getting the market to get access to good quality wine from South Africa. But above all, is the fact that, as I always say, that we add value to the training of people because this is what we did yesterday. We presented a wine course, a wine course which actually is to upskill the locals about wine and creating job opportunities subsequently. So we have achieved our targets and uh, I think I've had a very happy crowd today, happy wine producers who met consumers who had trade as well as media people for exposure. So we're on the right track. So how many years have you been doing this in Nigeria? This is our ninth installment. This is the ninth year we're doing this activation in Nigeria and it's generic and obviously uh, it's a fact that there is obviously appreciation of South African wine which is what makes us to keep coming and South Africa is very committed to collaborating and working close with the Nigeria market in advancing the cause. I, I know the idea is to saturate the market here with South African wines. On a scale of 1 to 10, how well would you say you've achieved that? Look, it's still a long way. This market so far, we've only thus far penetrated the Lagos market. There are many other states that need to be, you know, access to. So, work is still to be done. We're still a long way to achieving what we want to achieve. We're grateful that there is appreciation of South African wine at that scale. But it's not just wine, it's tourism into South Africa. I think I want to invite the Nigerians to consider visiting South Africa, coming to the wine lands, experience the wine lands, experience knowing to engage and interact with the winemakers, visit the farms themselves, amongst other things. So there's huge learning and opportunities to explore in South Africa. So here you have it, are the wines of South Africa 2024. It's been an amazing time here. So see you same time next year. Great one. My name is Mary Jane C. Ejofo, MD CEO, SQS in J Creation, and you're watching Tata Shea TV, A Taste of Africa. My name is Onyekachi in the Bisi Mwaha. I'm the MD of Cigar Group. Keep watching Tata Shea TV, A Taste of Africa. My name is Samuel. A shout out to Tata Shea TV, A Taste of Africa. Hi, my name is Sean Mateso from South Africa. 
and I watch Tata Shai TV, a taste of Africa. A shout out to Tata Shai TV, a taste of Africa. Hello everyone, I'm Georgina from Constantia Glen and you're watching Tata Shai, taste of Africa. My name is Tokumbo and you're watching Tata Shai TV at the Taste of Africa. It's Matthew Mbata and uh, you are watching Tata TV and uh, this is one of South Africa's Grand Tasting 2024. Thank you.